continue to remember the king of Detroit TV news with 7 Action News reporter Ross Jones. He joins us live outside Broadcast House tonight where Vilvon's worked for so many years. Ross? Joanne, Dave, good evening. You're right. We are outside Broadcast House, which is in many ways the house that Bill Bonds built. He was an indelible figure, not just in Detroit television history, but in Detroit history. Tonight, we spoke with two of his longtime friends, Diana Lewis and daughter Glenda, about how big of a loss this is. He helped mold my career. He influenced my person as a woman. He was so he was just so well versed on so many topics and subjects. He was so well read and he impressed me with every day he had something different to say that would make a difference in the way people receive the news, how the news should be presented. He cared. Bill Bonds cared so much and I just feel privileged Mm. Privileged to be the first woman to ever sit down beside this man on the anchor desk. Boy, did take I catch hell. On. Oh, take yeah. I had to take him head on. Mm. I caught hell, and at the end mm. of it all, we would hug, we would kiss. Mm -hmm. I, I just learned so much from him. If it wasn't right, he wasn't going to do it. And he wasn't going to say it. And if it didn't benefit people, then there was no reason for him to do it. You know, he had the characteristics of a journalist, if you if you looked up what a journalist should be, uh, from the heart, from the mind, and from the soul, he embodies that. You simply cannot overestimate or, or, or say more about what he did for this business and the number of careers that he is in many ways responsible for, mine included. I would not have gone into journalism were it not for Bill Bonds. We will have much more coming up on 7 Action News at 11 over on Channel 7 with our conversation with Diana and Glenda. For now, outside Broadcast House, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Right. Taught people how to ask the tough questions, that's for sure. Thank yep. you, Ross. Watch him as a kid growing up and had the privilege and pleasure to be able to work with the man. Very, very special indeed. Bill